and you have all the conversations you'd have when you lose anyone, right? Um, what do we do? How, how are we going to get through this? And we couldn't get through it together. We couldn't be in the same space and mourn him, mm -hmm. uh, which was, as many people experienced during that time, uh, almost as bad. You know what I mean? Um, uh, and we had all the conversations you'd expect to have, like, should we even make this movie? You know, Ryan and I especially had grown really close to Chad over the years, and it felt weird to consider a movie without him because he was so much a part of that character. Uh, and building that character from the beginning, from Civil War, to be quite mm -hmm. honest. Mm -hmm. um, and then we really thought about it and talked to Simone uh, Bozeman, his wife, and, um, and sort of realized on our own and collectively that it would, Chad would have wanted us to continue, right? Chad, I say this all the time, like he knew more than all of us what Wakanda could mean to people mm -hmm. if we got it right the first time. Uh, you know, and that movie wasn't the easiest to make either. And there were times where Chad would come up to Ryan, who would sort of be in the dumps about any given thing, and say, "Hey, man, don't worry about it. This is our this is our Star Wars. You don't understand." <laughs> and Ryan would be like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. Um, but I think Chad knew. You know, Chad was investing so much of his spiritual energy into that film, and to not have him in this film was terrifying. 